right, today got the with the programmed with the rear wheel pulses per revolution, which on the Ninja 400 is 50 pulses per revolution. And then you have to program in, tell it how many gears there are. And with the RPM sensor hooked up and the wheel speed sensor hooked up, you run it at 4,000 RPM in each gear and acquire the wheel speed to RPM ratio and it learns the gears. Hopefully this isn't too loud. So I'm in second gear. All right, this is my data monitoring channel showing the RPMs, the wheel frequency, that's off the rear wheel speed sensor. So if I go, I'll go back, back. So here's where you teach it RPM speed and gear in this. I'm not going to redo it, but take your RPM pulse per revolution, wheel pulse per revolution, take the wheel circumference, which I measured on this bike with the 140 Pirelli track day uh, Super Corsa. It has 1975 millimeters in the center. And number of gears six. And if you come down to learn gears in the center, it takes you to the screen where you run through the gears and hold it at 4,000 RPM with the light tap on the brake. Uh, to keep the chain stable and not flopping around and then if you exit everything once everything's correct go back to your main screen it says second gear second gear if I come down here put the third says third on my dashboard third on my dashboard fourth fourth so that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. It'll log my gear and RPM, and speed, and GPS position around the track. It should help me, uh, end throttle position, uh, should help me maximize my lap times. <laughs> 